Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the mini beach release and I have a fun card to share. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's brand new Gnome Dyes Beach add-ons along with the new Ahoy Nomi outline dyes and the stamp set, um, our Gnome Dyes and our Tropical Dyes. I'm also using Doodlebug Seaside Summer uh, along with their odds and ends. So first I have a piece of Paper Trank white cardstock that's cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. And I'm working on a Stampin' Up pad as per usual. There we go. And I have a piece of pattern paper from the Seaside Summer six inch collection from Doodlebug. And I cut it one eighth of an inch smaller than an A2 size card front. And I'm using um, some ATG tape to stick that down on the front of my card base. There we go. And all my die cutting today was done with my Gemini. Just thought I'd mention that. There we go. So now I went ahead and I cut out this piece of Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock. And I used the little beach border die from Jada Blossom's Tropical Dies to cut that out. And I'm just, I just cut it to the same width as that blue pattern paper. There we go. And I will stick that down with my HEG tape. And I'll use a little bit of Barely Art glue. I'm quite enjoying it, actually. There we go. And I'll just stick that down on the bottom of this card. So what I'm going for is kind of like an underwater scene. And I will trim off the edge of that because, you know, I'm crazy like that. I kind of want it to be exact. There we are. And um, on the inside, I'm going to add some strips of paper. Um, this is the opposite side of the cut of that Nina Desert Storm um, cardstock. And I'm going to sort of add a bunch of these patterns to the bottom. So first I'm gonna add a one inch strip of this blue pattern paper that I used on the front. And then I'm using the other side. Um, well, first I'll add this Nina Desert Storm. You'll see there's some mess on the back. Remember, there's two sides of cardstock, everybody. So I'm going to stick that down. And I'm using my um, Stampin' Up pad to kind of line things up. There we go. And then that last strip is the other side of that same blue paper. And I just have like a little half an inch strip that I'm going to use. It's kind of like an underwater pattern, which is kind of fun. There we go. And then I'll trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. You know, kind of going for, um, you know, an underwater scene on the inside and on the outside. Okay, so then I went ahead and I traced out this starfish dye from the tropical dyes from Jada Blossom onto um, Desert Storm, Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock. And I'm just cutting it out with a pair of EK Success scissors. And what I wanna do is I wanna fill in the holes on that die cut. So it'll have like craft little holes is what I'm going for. There we go, making sure everything lines up. Now the color of that um, starfish is actually cut from Cut Cardstock's Star Dream Metallic cardstock. I use coral, crystal, and quartz. They're just a really pretty shiny cardstock and I thought perfect for shells and stuff like that in a, you know, in a water card. So there is my little star. I'm going to stick that down or weight it down. I've got this adorable little um, clamshell and I'm taking um, a Stampin' Up 3 8 of an inch circle punch and I'm just punching out a little circle from the coral and I'm going to add that to the inside kind of like a little um, oyster with a pearl, right? So I'm going to stick down the starfish first. So, you know, kind of making a little scene, right? You see the sentiment that I wanna use on the inside there. So I'm just adding on my little oyster. You know, it could be a clam, whatever you want, but I'm adding a pearl, so we're gonna call it an oyster. There we go, and then I'm going to add this little pretty coral colored pearl. And then I'll add my sentiment, Seize the Day. That's from that brand new um, Ahoy no, no Me Stamp Set and Outline Dies. So that's the inside. There we go. Now on the outside, I'm going to create a little water bottom again. I'm doing the exact same thing with the sand dollar. So I used the um, you know Stardery Metallic for the actual 
sand dollar and then I put the Nina Desert Storm behind it. There we go. And I've got the little oyster again. And then I've got this little, this is the little starfish actually from the Gnome Dyes Beach add-ons. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? So same, same three colors of Stardry Metallic cardstock. That's quartz, coral, and crystal. So I'm just sticking those down with some Barely Arts glue, which I'm really liking right now. There we go. So I'm sort of adding everything in. It's so pretty. It's got like a really nice shine to it. And then I'm pulling out little things, um, pearls, soft ivory mix, and I'm going to add a little pearl to that oyster there. There we go. Using my Studio Catty embellishment wand for that. There we go. And now I'm going to stamp. You'll see that gnome. I put that gnome together on our gnome assembly video for the beach add-ons, so check that out. It went live today as well. And I'm just trying to see where it's going to line up on my card. You'll see that I used um, Doodlebug's gingham linen and dot stripe papers. Now this is a piece of acetate. It's from stamp or from um, Simon Says Stamp, and it's just a you know a little grid line acetate sheet. And I'm going to line up my sentiment. So first, I'm going to do some sentiment surgery. So I'm going to cut it apart. It doesn't scream. It's okay. It'll go back together if you want to stamp it that way. But I want to use the You're Fantastic, and I didn't want to have a super long sentiment going across my card. So I'm going to line it up on that little acetate sheet, just making sure everything's straight. And then I'll pick it up with my Misty to do my stamping. There you have it. So I'm going to pull that little scuba guy off. And then I'm going to add in that you're fantastic because I just think it's so sweet there we are so I'm just figuring out where my little guy's gonna go and I want that sentiment to kind of nestle in right and now I'm going to stamp it in verse fine Claire nocturne ink and remember don't push too hard you don't want to flatten out your your um, font or your letters and it only took one stamp this time but Trust me, if I would have freehanded it, I would have screwed up. So a Misty is worth its weight in gold. There we go. So I'm going to stick this little gnome down with my um, Barely Arts glue. And like I said, you can watch me put that together on the Gnome Dyes Beach Add-ons assembly video. So check that out. And if you don't follow Jada Blossom's YouTube page, you should along with mine, of course, right? <laughs> okay, now I've got this little fish that I cut, that I assembled on that same video you can check out. There we go. I also used pumpkin cardstock from Doodlebug uh, for that little fish, so. There we go, and I'm going to use a Stampin' Up Dimensional, a little bit of glue from Barely Arts, and I'm going to stick that down. So I've got a super cute little fish. You'll see that the eye ha is made with um, Nouveau Crystal Drops in white and eb ebony black, and you can see me do that on the assembly video. Now I'm pulling out glossy accents and I'm using Studio Katia's clear round drops along with their um, embellishment wand to add little bubbles to the front of my card because you know they're, you're under the water for this, right? So you wanna add little tiny bubbles and I just think it's fun. So I'm adding them, sprinkling them here and there. I want an uneven number, right? And I'm having them, you know, kind of come up the card a bit, which is kind of fun. It just makes things nice. Now you'll see that I did have some uh, secure white jelly roll pen details on that gnome, which is, you know, kind of my norm. I always use a secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10, like I said, to make those white bold lines. I find that it just works the best. So I'm just adding on these little glossy accents and the little droplets. And I just think it really adds something to the card. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on this amazing release. You can check out the Gnome Assembly video and my release and review video. So check that out. And thank you always for, you know, for watching and stopping by. And we will see you soon in my next one. Bye, everybody.